What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about setting up email notification for the Gecko Trading Bot. So first of all, this only works for the command line setup. If you're using the UI, there's no way to set up the email notification. Pretty much are stuck with the very basic, just check the screen and to see if the trades are happening. That's basically it. For people that are not familiar with the command line setup, I have a couple of videos that show you how to set that up. So you can just go look through my history and so you can see the different videos I have regarding command line setup. So if you go to the Gecko documentation on the website here, under enabling plugins, so it should be under the section right here, under command line plugins. So you click here and then you scroll down from this section here, you'll find the mailer. So Gecko already have this feature available, but you have to enable it. But it's not that simple because if you just do this, it won't work. Because if you try to set up this way, it's enabled to true. One of the first errors that you get is the plugin mailer expects the module email JS to be installed. So you need to install this first. So you follow this step, you still have other issues. So what you probably should follow through is really just what I really end up doing is following this instruction here on the Gecko forum from XFFFF and uh, it's pretty straightforward really so it just really create a new email account because a new specific Gmail because the Gecko trading bot is tuned for Gmail so you should create a new Gmail account because I, I mean at the end of the day you are putting your password for that Gmail account into the config file I mean it's relatively safe it's still on your computer but if anyone gets access to your computer they can access that Gmail you probably want to use this with a secondary or a spam email account if you're not setting up a new one once you set up the new account, the next thing you have to do is enable access for less secured apps. So again, this is the reason why, because the settings you have to put in for this Gmail account makes it less secure. So you just click on the link as it says here, myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps. So literally, what that brings you to is this. It'll bring you to this section in here. It's a manage your account access and security settings. You scroll down from here, and it'll go all the way down to the section here, allow less secure apps and you enable it and it'll say from off to on once you do that your account is good to go so the next step is installing module email js so it's really just going in here in the gecko folder to say npm install email js it's just that simple and after you do that it'll just tell you install email js what version and just set that will correct that error issue that i showed you guys earlier so after that, you have to go and configure the Gecko command line to config file. Again, if you're not familiar with the config file, you definitely should go over my previous videos. But if you are, just scroll down to config that mailer section in here, enable it to true, obviously. And then the email here, just type in whatever new account that you created for this particular setup. Or whatever spam account you have lying around, whatever Gmail spam account you have lying around that you don't care for if you get hacked. So you put that in here and you have to put your password in here in this section. Your password has to go here. So again, that's the reason why you don't want to use a primary account. So once you do that, there's a tag section that you could change. So you can leave it as get-go or you can change it to whatever you want. Let's say you have multiple bots running this paper trader. That in my case, it's a paper trader a config file. But let's say that you have multiple bots running paper trader you can have different tags so you know which bot is issuing these no email notifications and then the rest are already configured so um, these are configured so this is the last part here too so you can set to your private email address the email address that you want to get email from and that's basically it you're done so once you have it set up you have to save this file then you have to go back and run gecko again on the command line. So for most people, it would be something like this, node gecko dash dash config, and whatever config file name you have set up to be. And once you do that, in about a few minutes, you should get an email, so something like this. So it says, gecko has started. So again, I changed the tag. So I changed it from gecko to this, to gecko dash o laptop. So I know which bot is sending out these emails. So, and it just tells you, I just started watching GDAX email. Um, and actually, I think this one you do have to set up. So, one thing I forgot here. So, let's go back in here. So, you want to make sure that send email, send mail on start is set to true. That's one thing that I think it defaults to false. You can set it to true so that you'll get this message 
knowing that your bot is currently working, which is good. So once your bot is working and then run through the warm-up process, if there is a warm-up process, then you get something like this. When it actually issues um, buy signals, this is what it does. This is a gecko new advice, go long. So this gecko is watching GDAX and has detected a new trend, advice is to go long, which is to buy, and it tells you the current price. So I haven't really played with any of play with this specifically. Maybe there's a way to configure this to get more information in the email. I haven't really looked into that specifically, but at least this will let you know that your bot has issued a buy signal. So whether it's a live trading bot or just a paper trader, you'll get email notifications so that you don't have to constantly look at your bot, especially with bots that are running on command line, where you actually have to go scroll back to the terminal, that might be a problem. So this is a lot easier to see. Anyway, that's my video for setting up email notification for the Gecko Trading Bot. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. It isn't worth speculating. Peace out.